What's up guys, it's Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer. I'm going to do the five things that you probably didn't know about the Wasatch Back Explorer. And this is coming from a tag from the Wasatch Gear View. Super excited, so let's get started. Alright guys, like I said, I got tagged by Corbin at the Wasatch Gear Review. Now, you can see I have his channel up on my computer. I'm going to put a link in the description to his channel. He's got an awesome channel. He's got 1,799. So let's see if one of you can make it the big 1,800 for him. So go check his channel out. Subscribe. He's got some great content good friend of mine. I love going out in the backcountry with him and he's just a super, super cool dude. Um, so yeah, go check out his channel. He's super awesome. So anyways, let's get into the five things that you may not know about me, Colton with the Wasatch Back Explorer. So are you ready for this? Okay. So this was kind of uh, hard for me to come up with five things because I feel like I'm not that like exuberant or uh, sporadic, like I'm a pretty mellow guy. Um, but I think I came up with five, so I'm going to look through this list that I have here. So number one, the number one thing that you might not know about me, and I don't think I've shared, well I've shared parts of it. Um, the number one thing is I am from Farmington, Utah. Born and raised pretty much my whole life. Um, haven't moved I moved from Farmington to Farmington like just moved around Farmington um, lived here my whole life and uh, I love it it's a great place um, right now I work for an electrical contractor and it is owned by my uncle and my dad and I've worked for them for the past like four four and a half years give or take and it's a great job it's gotten me through um, school and a lot of different other things and I like it and it keeps me creative with my hands and whatnot. Um, let's see, I'm 25. I just had my birthday a couple days ago, which is sweet, getting older. You gotta love that, right? Um, so yeah, um, I just kind of hang out here in Farmington. I go backpacking and whatnot. So let's see, so that's a little bit about me. Um, let's see, the number two thing, right now I am going to college to get a degree, and that degree is construction management. Um, I grew up doing construction because my dad, my grandpa, and my uncle, they all did construction, so I grew up around it, and I kind of came to love it. I love working with my hands. I'm really like a tactile person, so that's kind of like why I chose that. Um, I've been going to school for four years and I'm only doing part-time school um, because I work full-time in the construction field so it's kind of like a catch-22. Um, I don't want to go into a lot of debt um, to get through school and so that's why I'm doing part-time and working full-time so I can just pay for it outright and so it's taking me a little longer but that's alright. I mean it's what I like and it's what I want to do so that's why I'm that's what I'm going into for college and I do that um, regularly let's see here um, oh number three number three um, one of my favorite hobbies and this is next to backpacking because backpacking is number one obviously my channel's about backpacking I do a lot of backpacking videos, a lot of backpacking gear. But my second favorite hobby would have to be four-wheeling. Um, I have my own four-wheeler. Sorry about that. Um, I just bought my own four-wheeler. Um, I've rode them basically all my life. Um, from when I was about seven, well, even younger than that, I was driving with like my dad and whatnot, like driving a four-wheeler. Then at seven, I got my own like little like 90 cc four-wheeler that I just I rode the crap out of that thing so I've always loved it it's a good way to explore the backcountry 
Um, it's fun. My dad loves it, so it's a good way to connect with him. And my whole family's done it, so it's really like a big part of our family. Um, and one thing that we do as well that I kind of ties into like backpacking is usually in August we head to central Utah and like the Tusher Mountains and the Fish Lake National Forest and we will load up all our camping gear onto our four wheelers and food and whatnot and we'll ride from one spot and we'll camp and then we'll wake up the next morning ride camp and do that all day and like go into towns for gas and then go back into the mountains and ride one of my favorite trips every year is to go to that so that's kind of like a new kind of camping style that I'm picking up is like kind of like the overlanding but on four wheelers so I'm hoping to get into that maybe a little more um, but yeah that's one of my second favorite hobbies is four wheeling um, with like actual four wheelers I don't know if I clarified that like Jeeps are cool too but like actual four wheelers um, number four four where did my love of the outdoors come from? Well, it's always kind of been a big part of my life. Um, we have a cabin in the Wind River Mountains, and I'm actually going to post a video of some pictures and videos I took, so stay tuned for that. I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done. So stay tuned. If you want to see that, that will be linked in the description below as soon as I get it um, uploaded. And it's a sweet place, my second favorite place. Uh, next to the Uena Mountains is the Wind River Range. Um, ever since I was a kid, we've always had that cabin, so I've always grown up roaming around the woods, four-wheeler riding, hiking, biking there, all sorts of deals. Um, we used to have a house trailer, so that got us out quite a bit as a family. Then in scouts, I used to do scouts, and we'd go backpacking, and that's where I really learned to like backpacking. The first time I went backpacking, man, I was hooked and uh, that just got the ball rolling. Um, it kind of went slow from the first time I went backpacking till about four, four, three years ago. Three years ago is when it took off and I just went all for backpacking. So yeah, that's kind of, I just always grew up in the, in the woods and then roaming around and doing other stuff. So that's why I like that. Um, yeah, it's just a great place to be. It helps clear my mind. It's really peaceful. I'm not like a travel to cities and deal with people. I don't like people. Like I like people. Like don't get me wrong. I like interacting with people, but stepping away from like the crowd and the hustle and bustle of the city life. Uh, yeah, I just got to get away. So that's why I like um, backpacking and whatnot. And the fifth thing, and this one is kind of big. Um, and it's, I kind of debated back and forth whether or not I should share this because like, it's kind of like just weird and really random. But one of my biggest goals in life is to do a through hike. Specifically, I would really like to do the CDT. Um, I don't know. There's something about hiking all that distance and turning around and saying, like, I did that. And like all the things you learn and just the experiences that you have and just the things that you learn about yourself. It's something that I really want to do. I'm hoping to do it sooner than later. Um, I'm still toying with the idea of like if I'm actually going to do it. But I really, 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 really want to do it. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out. Like once I get school done with and whatnot, like that's when I'll really try and like do that. Um, but right now that's my biggest like adventure goal in my life is to do a through hike i've looked at like the at and the pct but mm, something about like the cdt walking through like the wind river range montana um even parts of arizona you know colorado like that's that really draws me more than like the at like i spent time back east and their mountains aren't as cool like they have their own beauty but I'm just drawn to like the Rocky Mountains. So that's why I kind of want to do the CDT, which is also the hardest one. So, you know, I got to kind of do some preparing for that. So, yeah, I think that's all. That's all I have on my notes. So I hope you guys enjoyed that um, little get to know you. 
I'm super glad that I got tagged by Corbin. Like I said, go check out his channel. He's got a super sweet channel. And he's an awesome dude. Corbin, you're sweet. Thanks, bro. Um, all right, so now it's my turn to tag three people. And I've gone back and forth and back and forth on who to tag. And I wish I could tag everyone, but I can just stick with three because that's all most people do. Um, number one, the first person that I would like to tag, huge inspiration for my channel, great guy, super awesome dude, Devin with Backcountry Exposure. Devin, I want to see what a little bit more about you, get to know you a little bit better. He's an awesome dude, and yeah, just a great guy. Let's see, number two, another awesome buddy. He's been on the channel before, Dustin with the Backpack Blazer. Buddy, I want to see and hear a little bit more about you and get to know you a little bit. So I want to see what what you got. Um, and last but not least, let's see, is Haggard Wilderness. He is a super cool guy. Haven't got to go out on a backpacking trip, trip with him, but we're trying to get something worked out. Um, so, buddy, I want to see what a little bit more about you, get to know you a little bit, and uh, see just just get to know you more um all right guys so those are the three that i'm going to tag i will link all of their channels in the description below please go check them out they have a great they all have a great channel um and they have a lot to contribute here to youtube so go support them go show a little bit of that youtube love and uh click that subscribe button for them they're all they're great guys so thanks for watching guys um, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be going out a lot, so there's going to be a lot of content coming out. But if you like what you see, click that subscribe button, hit the like button, and the bell button, because you got to stay notified, and we'll catch you in the next video.